We all want that millionaire lifestyle, but how do we get it? You know, we all want to have luxury. We all want to fly our own private jet or first class every time. We all want to drive in a really nice car. We want to be looked after. Not necessarily because we want to impress other people, but we just don't want to care about the stuff that doesn't matter in life. We want everything to work. We want everything to be a seamless experience. We want to take away all the crap that bogs us down in life, whether that be doing our own washing, preparing our own meals, or just getting from A to B without hassle. See, money isn't necessarily a bad thing. Money is a good thing. The challenge is the lifestyle that goes with it. We all want that millionaire lifestyle. And that's where Tim Ferriss's four hour work week comes in. This book really isn't so much about how to work four hours a week, but it's how to build a lifestyle on your own terms. And the important part of that is lifestyle on your own terms. Terms being the way that you choose to live your lifestyle and define it yourself rather than define it by what other people think that lifestyle should be. Because, I mean, if you think about the millionaire lifestyle, how do you get that? Well, for most people, the only option is to play the lottery. And, well, your chances obviously are, well, less than probably being struck by lightning in the same week. So you might as well forget that. The other option is to build a business and sell it, which is probably not a lot better chance-wise than winning the lottery. Less than 1% of entrepreneurs actually sell their business. So there aren't really many options available to you and me in terms of having that lifestyle, the traditional way. And that's where Tim Ferriss comes in because what he does, he challenges that whole notion of how to achieve that lifestyle. You know, the traditional way being to build a business to sell it, uh, to win the lottery, or to, you know, to get a very well-paying job and save up money and become a millionaire that way. Well, the interesting thing about that and what I talk about in the other videos is the traditional route to financial independence is really a bit of a myth. You know, it's actually very expensive to earn money. So very few people actually achieve it. But what Tim Ferriss says is that people don't want to be millionaires. They want to experience what they believe only millions can buy. Now, let's break that down a little bit. So people don't want to be millionaires. Well, we want the millionaire lifestyle, but we don't want all the bullshit that goes with being a millionaire. And there is a lot of bullshit, like having a nice car is actually a burden. You've got to look after the thing. You don't want a thing to be scratched. The thing sort of takes over your life. All those kind of things. Now, they want the experience instead of the things, right? So we want the experiences. We want to be able to travel the world. We want to be able to go and spend time with our loved ones. We want to do what we want with who we want, where we want, when we want. That's what we believe only millions can buy. And the important thing about this is we believe only millions can buy these experiences, which is not true. There's a Daily Mail survey, a Daily Mail survey newspaper, which says that 81% of people said that if they were to win the lottery, they would go and travel the world, which is really interesting because you don't need to win the lottery to travel the world. But that's what people assume. They assume that you need to have millions before you can go and really live your life. So that sort of confines people to this mindset that you only get to really fully experience your ideal lifestyle. A, when you retire and you have some cash, which in most cases is, you know, when you're 65 plus, if you retire, if you're healthy, if you're alive, if you still have your brain and mind all working together, et cetera, et cetera. So... We only believe that that's a situation we can have when we retire. The other way is we, you know, gambling and playing the lottery or selling your business and so on. But actually the situation is you can experience these things without the millions. You know, when I was 40, we went and traveled the world for what was initially a few months, but ended up being five years. You don't need to win the lottery to do that. You just need to set up your life in the right way. And the first step, and this is what I talk about in my 
four hour work week course is redefining success on your own terms. And this is the key message from the four hour work week. And Tim Ferriss talks about socially reinforced illusions, which I take to mean success, the whole idea of career, career retirement, work life balance, all these ideas which we accept as the de facto. And that's why they're illusions, because they're merely nothing more than stories that everybody tells. So, you know, if you were to redefine these on the on your own terms, you wouldn't need to then conform to the traditional way of doing things, which is, you know, as we discussed, those are the only options available to you to experience that lifestyle. But hey, you know, how much money do you really need to go and travel the world? You don't need to be a millionaire because the traditional way of doing it is you work, you get money, you go and travel the world. And during the time you are traveling the world, you're not working because you can't work. That's not the traditional way of doing things. You know, you work in one place, one company, and you have a market which is often local to where you work. But if you were location independent, you could go and experience the millionaire lifestyle. Now you could travel forever. You don't need to be a millionaire. You just need to earn more than it costs to live. And if you do work that you love, then does it matter that you're working or not? It doesn't. If you're doing something you really enjoy, then you would do that for free anyway. The fact that you get paid for it and it enables you to travel world is a bonus. So the second key takeaway from the four hour work week and a key part of this course, I'll use a quote from Seth Godin. Instead of wondering when your next vacation is, maybe you should set up a lifestyle you don't need to escape from. So the second way to was experience the millionaire lifestyle is to do work that you love. Now, this is a challenge to the old idea of work-life balance. I believe that work-life balance is bullshit. And the reason is, is that work and life should never be opposites. You know, why work 40 years for a few years at the end? Or why work 50 weeks a year for two weeks in the sun? Or why work five or six days a week just for a little bit at the end of it where you're recovering and getting ready to work another five or six days a week. And that's why we have this situation where that lifestyle is something we want to escape from. So we escape from it with our two weeks in the sun, or we dream of retirement or the day off or whatever it is. But that's a trap that we've got ourselves into in the modern world. What if we would flip that on its head and focus on doing what we really loved? If we were to do something we really loved, and this is the, the goal of the lifestyle entrepreneur, start first with the lifestyle that you want and build a business to make that lifestyle possible. You know, if that was the situation, would you want to stop? For example, I know some a, a lady who's a professional triathlete. And what she does is she competes in competitions and as she competes, she travels the world. So she's going all over the world competing, meeting people like her in different places of the world. There's a, an immediate connection, an immediate bond. She's challenging herself. She's doing work that she absolutely loves. She's working for herself because she's a professional. If she was to retire, what would she do? Play golf? So my point is this, is that the traditional view of work-life balance and that is what holds us back and that's what makes it impossible to achieve that millionaire lifestyle because you know you do work you don't love and then you you have your life as a separate entity and you're trading time between these two things and that could be on a weekly on a monthly yearly or even on a life basis however if you were doing something that you loved then would you want to retire from it and this is the one thing that I believe about lifestyle entrepreneurs. Retirement doesn't mean retiring from work. It means retiring from the need to work. So for our work week, key point in that is this idea of mini retirement, which really means if you could make enough money every month to cover your expenses, and ideally that was done through some kind of passive income, then effectively you're retired. You can retire. Now you can choose to work on top of that, which is great because if you love what you do, then you would choose to do that. 
but that's a choice. Or you could choose to go and get the Lamborghini or just sit on the beach. That's a choice. But why wait to 65 to exercise that choice? And the last takeaway from the four hour work week, and something I go into depth in this course, is geo arbitrage. This is how you could live the millionaire lifestyle without being one. You could effectively move and double your income. You know, how long would it take for you to double your income in the traditional way? Let's say you're earning 80,000 a year. How long would it take to get to 160,000 a year? You know, we're talking a, a number of years here, but you could do that in a matter of weeks by moving. There's two ways of doing this. The first way is to move from a city which is where you're probably based if you you know, are chasing a salary career. Moving from the city to the countryside, you would probably experience a drop in income as a result, but you would also experience a significant drop in expenses. You know, because it's very expensive to work and I explain why this is the case and how this works out with the numbers in a following video. So, if you were to move from the city to the country, you could actually be better off. And then, you know, the second level of geo arbitrage is where you move from country to country. As I explained in one of my videos, you could go from, let's say, New York, the minimum amount of money that you'd need to live on on a monthly basis. One person is $3,600 a month. That's cash in hand. That's after tax. So that's, say, $5,000 of income every month to live in New York City just to pay your bills, you know, your rent, food, travel, etc. Not to live, just to clear the bottom line, right? So that's 5,000 a month, but if you were to move somewhere like Phuket and Thailand, you could do that for 2,000. So you could take a significant drop in income to achieve that, or you could maintain your income and have a significantly more richer experience of life. And I'm not just talking about access to all those things that, you know, we assume to be the millionaire lifestyle. But I'm talking about all the experiences that you could now have because your time is not maxed out. You're not surrounded by people who have maxed out time. So therefore, you know, you can't spend time. You know, how difficult is it to spend time with people and you know you might live in new york but just to get time with people is difficult right everybody is so busy and when they're not busy they're recovering so they can be more busy later on so take a step outside of that and geo arbitrage not only gives you a lot of breathing space that bandwidth that gives you freedom, but also surrounds yourself with people who have that as well. And that really is what I think is the benefit of a millionaire lifestyle. As Tim Ferriss says, you know, we don't actually want the hassle of being millionaires, but think about all the experiences we can have as a result of making changes. So those three things that I've reviewed here, lifestyle design, mini retirement, geo arbitrage, Three key lessons from the four hour work week. I dive into these deeper in my four hour work week course. Hopefully, this was useful to you as a taster. If you like this, then I'd recommend you go and check out the course. I go into deeper into each one of these, provide some examples as well, some walkthroughs, some resources to help you on your journey to becoming a better lifestyle entrepreneur.